Good morning, vloggy vlogsters. Welcome to another week. It's Wednesday. I'm Emily Jane, if you are new. Um, if you are new, like and subscribe for lots of fun stuff, you know, glam, city living, that kind of thing. Oh, so glam. Yeah, so it's another week and my camera's decided I don't have a face. Ah, oh, there we go, I have a face again. Cheers. Uh, have my coffee in my nice mug. Have a nice tidy flat because friends came around at the weekend, so obviously we tidied. Um, and today I have quite a nice day planned, really. Um, I've got lunch with um, my bestie Jess. Uh, who you saw stealing the camera at New Year. <laughs> and you've seen it in other vlogs before as well. So yeah, Jess has got a new job um, and uh, we've met for Lady Lunch for years because uh, she works in the city and obviously I work from home a lot so I can meet up for lunch. Um, and we always went to Wagamama's. You will have seen me having noodles um, before for Lady Lunch. Um, but because she's moved, she moved to a different area of the city for her job, we're going to have to find a new lunch hotspot, which is quite exciting, although I will miss the noodles. Um, so today we are going to try 1847, which is a vegetarian restaurant in the Great Western Arcade. Um, I've been wanting to try it for ages, but Dan is quite anti-vegetarian <laughs> restaurants. Uh, Dan's motto is no meat, no meal. Uh, he is a consummate omnivore. Uh, whereas I actually really like vegetarian food. Don't get me wrong, I'm a meat eater. I, I love my meat, but um, I am quite happy with a vegetarian meal. And um, that we have some really good vegetarian and vegan restaurants in Birmingham. Um, and I just don't get to try them out very often. So I'm gonna use the excuse of a lady lunch to try out uh, 1847. They've got a good lunch deal on and I've wanted to try it for ages. So I'm looking forward to that. Then I've got to go into the city centre, into town, run a few errands, pick up a few bits, and I'm also going to use that as like my walk for the day. But I am, yeah, trying to get out and do some walking, which uh, is, you know, good for your health, but also just good mentally to get out of the flat. Um, so I'm going to use that as my walk. I'm going to walk into lunch, walk into town, walk back. Then uh, later on today, uh, this evening, I have a super secret foodie event to go to. It is a secret supper club, and I guess I can tell you guys what it is because you won't see this until after it's happened. So I have a secret steak supper club at Cafe Rouge in the mailbox, which I have been looking forward to uh, for a very long time because it was meant to be uh, at the end of last year and then they shifted it to January. Um, so yeah, so Dan is gonna meet me there, which is really nice. Midweek date in January is a luxury, believe me. Um, and we are gonna go and explore um, steak and wine at Cafe Rouge. What more could you want? Now, in between those nice things, the other rubbish thing about January, and lots of people would tell me it doesn't have to be a rubbish thing about January. I could have done it any time from like July last year onwards, but anyone who's self-employed will be feeling me on this one. It's tax return time. Yep, I've been doing a boatload of admin this week, trying to get everything ready and sorted for my tax return. I'm gonna be continuing that today. I really wanna get it finished this week. Um, and yeah, it's just rubbish. Like you can see, my dining room table has been taken over with receipts, basically. Erg. So yeah, that is the plan for today. Uh, rest this week. Oh, what else have I got on? Oh, I've got uh, Ting coming over tomorrow from the Ting thing. We're gonna take some outfit photos. I have a vague idea of what outfit photos I want to take. I'm not 100% sure. I don't have any like snazzy new outfits, but there's a couple of blog features that I could do with some kind of photos of me for. And I just wanna get into the habit of doing more outfit posts again, because especially in winter and especially when Dan's busy, it's really difficult because obviously you don't have anyone to take the photo of me um so ting and i are teaming up to do that uh and then uh tomorrow night i feel like i'm doing something as well oh yeah i'm going to the panto yeah barrowman time yeah john barrowman is in the panto in birmingham this year at the hippodrome um and so yeah gonna go and see that with my mom and jess and her mom and just yeah, a group of us go um and then the weekend is wide open because I, it's towards the end of January now, so I just don't plan anything in for the weekend because I don't know what Dan's gonna be, whether he's gonna be at work or whether he's not. So I'm quite looking forward to a chilled one. Right, I think that's a good summary of the week. I think I have blathered on for way too long now. I'm gonna drink my coffee. I'm gonna have some breakfast. A cardo man should be coming soon with some food for me, which would be excellent because we haven't got any. And uh, yeah, on with the receipts.
Oh, what a glorious morning of sorting receipts that was. Okay, time to pop some lippy on and go out and have some lunch. We go. worse out there it started to rain I'm very damp Ugh. Uh, but I was very good I still walked home go me um, picked up a bit of shopping as um, I said I would I will show you what I got in a bit because right now I am gonna make myself a cup of tea and I'm gonna get on with my tax return Quick word about lunch though, um, completely can see why everyone was raving about 1847. The food was amazing. I had the battered halloumi with mushy peas and chips and it was so good. Only one minor bone of contention and this isn't to do with um, the food, it was amazing. Um, it was just the fact that it, um, it said there was a lunch offer on which was £10 for a main dish and a drink, which is brilliant value. Um, and to be honest, food was brilliant value anyway. And it said that you had to, or just just said, oh, you've, just, you've got to book to get the offer. So I booked a table. What I hadn't realised is you have to book with a specific code to get the offer. And they weren't able to give us the offer, even though we booked a table, because we hadn't booked with the right code. Which is a bit annoying, but, you know, I'll know for next time. Like, it's not enough to put me off. But just be aware that if you want their lunch offer, you can't just walk in and get it. And also, if you book a table... It's not just booking a table that gets you the offer. You have to use a specific code when you book to get the offer. So there you go. Anyway, tea, tax, whoop. Right, that is enough of all of that tax malarkey. <laughs> Still not finished. Uh, but it's time to go and get ready for all oh, change in light. My camera's not coping. It's so much darker in my bedroom. Oh, put some lights on. There we go. Um, <laughs> oh, bedroom's so dark. One of the things we really need to do as we kind of improve it. Where's there some light? Is there, oh, too much light, too much light. Um, one of the things we really need to do is sort the lighting out in here. It's a bit weird. There's like lighting up here by the wardrobes and there's lighting over there by the door and then no lighting at all over the bed. Like no central lighting. It's a bit weird. Ooh. Um, Right, so before I get ready though, um, I promised I would show you, oh, if I sit down on the bed it's a bad idea isn't it, but hey ho, I promised I would show you what I picked up earlier from the shops. So first out of the yellow bag of joy, the biggest thing and the reason it was a big bag was I picked up some paper, <laughs> but really pretty kind of textured. It's a gold one and you can see there's like a, a just a white rough one with bits of sparkling um, and these are for taking blog photos so I'm going to use those as backdrops um, I'm going to try and like pin them or blue tack them to the wardrobe door or something or to a wall and try and create my own kind of infinity curve but anyway try and up my blog photo game because my desk which I used to use because it was nice and white is out of action due to that room being full of boxes at the moment. Okay, also picked up some skincare, because obviously I know what I'm allergic to now, and 2017 for me is gonna be the year of, 2016 was the year of discovering my allergies and cutting everything out and getting back to basics and sorting out my skin. I feel like now I'm there, I can start to reintroduce some products. So I've bought, I bought the Hylamide um, Blur, a couple of weeks ago now and I started using it and it's absolutely blooming amazing so I bought some more Hylamide products which I found in boots I bought sensitive fix 
the advanced calming complex because my skin is very red and it is very sensitive so I thought I'd give that a go and also I bought the high efficiency face cleaner because I've been using like a prescription um, cleanser slash moisturizer slash basically Vaseline which is one of the reasons I think my skin's been so congested um, so this is a proper cleanser and these don't have anything there's a lot of beauties here what gorgeous packaging by the way don't have anything I'm allergic to and then I think there's some more moisturizer I've been using the La Roche-Posay Tolerain Ultra with like no problems um, but I felt like my skin you know it needs something else it needs a boost so I've also bought the Tolerain Ultra Overnight which is the uh, night cream which hopefully just be a little bit richer and during these winter months I've been getting quite a lot of dryness around my nose and cheeks so hopefully that will sort that out so bumper skincare and then what else what else also from Boots Boots Fest um it's like a little mini boots for haul i bought just a boots blending sponge because mine are on their last legs i thought i'd try the boots own version see what it's like i got a couple of pairs of lashes absolutely i've spoken about this before in a vlog absolutely loving the fleur de force um three quarter lashes I bought two different types of those i can wear those a tonight when i go out and b uh tomorrow for uh the outfit shoot i'm doing with ting I think there's one last thing. Yep, here we go. And one last thing. Got this from Selfridges. Um, I've finally done it. I've gone double wear. I've gone double wear light. There is nothing in these ingredients. Oh, it's not going to focus, is it? There's nothing in the ingredients that means that I should be allergic to this. So I'm going to give it a go because I've just been wearing bare minerals. I haven't been wearing a proper foundation. I'm bored of not having any coverage. We thought we'd start with double wear light because I've been used to bare minerals like what since July last year. So it's been a long time since I've worn full coverage foundation. Um, so I thought we'd try double wear light first and see how we get on. So I'm looking forward to giving that a go tonight. Whoop, proper foundation, like a proper beauty blogger. Uh, right, I need to work out what I'm gonna wear now and uh, get myself ready and then get my bum over to the mailbox to Cafe Rouge for the sake supper club. Um, I'll probably show you my outfit and stuff before I go, but I'm going to vlog the supper club separately. That'll be a separate video that'll probably go up the Thursday after this vlog goes out. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in a minute. I need to get ready. Okay, so already here's what I'm wearing. Just wait for the camera to catch up with the light. Uh, I've got like this waffly jumper from H&M, which looks much more creased in the camera than it does in real life. Hey ho. Uh, ASOS skirt, ASOS tights, and Clark's boots. And trying to sound super chirpy because I drank loads of red wine last night. Not loads, but you know, more than I would usually drink on a Wednesday. Um, good morning. I actually don't feel too bad at all, just a bit tired. Um, which is why I have slept in far too late. Um, but so today I've got Ting coming over this afternoon to take some outfit photos. Weather so far is looking grim, to be honest. It was meant to be a lot better today, which is why we picked today to do them. But you know, winter outfit photos can take place on a grey day. As long as it doesn't pour with rain, we'll be fine. Anyway, so hair has been washed, uh, face has been cleaned. I just need to sort out what I'm actually going to shoot. I've got an idea, I think. Um, but one of them is one of the things was like basically what I was going to wear last night. And then when I went to wear it, it was still wet, despite having being hung up for a couple of days drying. Oh, washing update. You haven't had any washing in this vlog, yeah, have you? I feel like tax return is the new washing at the moment. Um, but yes, yeah, so there you go. Mention of washing. Um, might even show you my washing racks later. Oh, you're so lucky. Dressing gown, washing racks, turby towel. Also, I finally like bought a proper microfiber hair towel. 
So, uh, this morning I have to sort out all of the, uh, sort out my outfit and generally get myself ready for this afternoon. I have to have a tidy up of the flax, things coming over. It's not too bad, just a little tidy round. Um, I also have to change the spare bed and get that sorted because my mom is staying over tonight because she's coming for some barum and pantomime action. And the carrot is really not liking my face this morning. It keeps like not focusing. There we go. Um, yeah, I've got some barum and action happening tonight at the Hippodrome, so really looking forward to that. Um, and uh, yeah, guess what? More tax return. Whoop. Let's go Thursday. <laughs> And of course, from all the washing I did on Monday, washing update folks, the things that have not dried properly, this, this. I'd like to say it was not hung up here. The reason it has not dried is not because it was dragging on the floor, it was hung up properly. And these tights. Um, of course, are the things that have not dried. So, and they're the things I want to wear for the outfit shoot with Ting company. So it looks like I'll be taking a hair dryer to those, but the waistband of the jeans just isn't gonna be dry, is it? So when you're looking at these outfit photos on my blog, just know the discomfort of damp jeans that I was going through to bring you gorgeous photos. Okay, on with the chores. Okay, so as you can see, I have curled my hair. I have eaten some of the delicious frittata that I made. I have to say, it was really, really good. Um, butternut squash and peppers and a little bit of sweet potato. And uh, sorry, I'm like tidying up whilst I speak to you because I'm running a little bit short of time. Uh, sweet potato and red peppers and eggs. That was basically it, yeah. Um, oh, and loads of Frank's hot sauce. Uh, obviously. God, I love some hot sauce. Um, yeah, so, oh, just pull that away. And now I need to go and finish getting ready because Ting will be here in about half an hour. So I just wanna go and put my face on and I've sorted out my outfits and oh, it's just not ideal for outfit photos out there at the moment. Like, it is gray and been really drizzly I'm hoping the drizzle will hold off I don't know if we don't end up doing outfit photos I guess that we can maybe record a vlog or just have coffee <laughs> and chat my jeans are so damp right now Blech. <laughs> okay Ting is on her way I am ready the weather is not ready <laughs> It's so horrible out there. Okay. I know that Ting has giant macarons with her from Paul. So, you know. We'll see how much work we get done. Right, we've been out in the rain. We've taken some outfit photos. <laughs> I'm sure they can be fabulous. I've only done one, one lot because it's cold and horrible out there, to be honest. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Recognize me. Yes, it's Ting from the Ting thing. <laughs> links everywhere. Links, 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 links. <laughs> Go visit Ting's blog and her beautiful, beautiful Instagram. Um, yes, um, Ting's Instagram. I'll put her in frame. Look, Ting's Instagram is very monochromatic. So we spent our time going around the jewelry quarter trying not to get red brick in shot, which was quite hard. The jewelry quarter is quite Thank red you for brick. Being really patient. <laughs> No, it's fine. Thank you for being patient with my face when I was trying to have photos taken. Anyway, Ting has done as she promised. I have. I have brought Ooh. what is now traditional. <laughs>
giant macarons. Open the okay. box. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Arrange, arrange beautifully. Arrange, 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 arrange beautifully. I bring them forward so I can actually reach yeah. the box. <laughs> you ready? Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm okay. so excited. So introduction is last time. Oh, oh, look at those. Look at the size of the macarons. Like this is my hand. Yeah, this reference. is Ting's hand my for hand scale. For hand reference. for scale. Yes, and I don't have tiny hands. I have regular hands. Right, we need to eat these. <laughs> Okay, so Ting has just gone. I've also noticed when I was watching my Instagram stories that I start with okay or so quite a lot of the time. Apologies for that if it's annoying. Um, but yeah, Ting has just gone. Uh, we only managed to get one outfit photo each done or like one outfit uh, or one set of photos. I don't know whether I'm describing that very well. Oh no, I'm going to climb up the stairs without falling over um, because the weather was crap and it was rainy. And it's horrible. It was so funny though. We were outside this really nice door for Ting's um, photos. And uh, it was like an office and people kept coming in and out and they were laughing at us, which is always funny as bloggers. Um, but yes, so my mom should be here any minute to go to the panto. So I'm just gonna do a quick change. It's been quite a nice day really. And then we'll go off to the panto for a bit of Mr. Barrowman and some wine. Last time it was John Barrowman panto. It was definitely, uh, there were definitely some jokes that went over kids' heads there, so I'm quite looking forward to it. And, uh, oh yeah, a bit of tea at the spoons first as well. Can't go wrong with the spoons. Right, mother is here. So she's much shorter than I am. It's hard to get her in <laughs> shot at the same time as me. I zoomed all the way out. Yes, I am. Hang on. That's as long oh. as my arm will go. Mother is here and we are off to the pantomime. Oh no, we're not. <laughs> Oh yes, we are. <laughs> that wasn't rehearsed, I promise. <laughs> Good evening, it is Saturday. We have had the laziest day ever. So yeah, Dan was off work today, which is a really nice surprise because he usually works pretty much every Saturday in January, but he had a good week and worry really late last night. So had the day off today and we just had lovely breakfast, which you saw the eggy bread. Um, and then uh, just basically lazed around on the sofa. I bought Dan a, um, sorry, I feel like I've got like no neck now. I've sat down. I'm like slouching back in the sofa um, <laughs> and because I've got no neck um, but yeah so I bought Dan a Zelda game for Christmas so we have been playing Zelda pretty much all day had like picky lunch um, but now we are actually gonna leave the flat and we're gonna go on a date night whoop, whoop, and we're gonna go to Sushi Passion which is one of our favorite places to eat in Birmingham managed to get a date sorry might be able to hear Zelda is still running in the background whilst Dan's getting ready. Because uh, he was peeing whilst I was getting ready. Um, so yeah, Sushi Passion is one of our favourite places to eat in Birmingham. We managed to get a last minute table, which is like impossible on a Saturday night. But just at lunchtime, we're just like, do you know what? We both like really want sushi tonight. So, sushi it is. Yeah, so we are going to head into town, eat some delicious sushi, have some lovely plum wine and sake, and just generally have a chilled out date night. Tomorrow we've just got a few jobs to do, nothing too um, exciting, so I may not vlog tomorrow. Um, but thank you so much for watching again this week. I am trying really hard to like improve the quality of kind of the, the vlogs. Um, now I'm getting back into it for the new year, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really love reading all of your comments, so please do have a chat. Let me know how you're getting on with January. Are you finding it tough? It's just a blah month, isn't it? Um, and you know, like and subscribe, that kind of thing. All right, see you soon, bye.